गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द क्लास टूडे वी विल डू स्टोन सूप इन बोहेमिया द नेक्स्ट लेसन ऑफ योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर बुक दिस इज योर सिक्स लेसन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू समथिंग हैव यू एवर बी फूल्ड एनी वन बी ऑनेस्ट एंड टेल द आंसर आई थिंक येस because i have be fooled one of my friends once when i was in the school and i think we all play a trick sometimes to be fool someone just for fun yes or no yes a second question i want to ask children if you were to choose between intelligence and money what would you opt for i think i would opt for intelligence why do you know because if we have intelligence we can earn money but if we have money without intelligence we can lose all our money i know that some children are saying both but this is not correct children because according to the question you have to choose only one between these two okay now let's read the story first and then i will tell you the summary of this lesson stone soup in bohemia this is the story of a soldier's wit how he uses his wit to satisfy his hunger let's read it in europe in the old days soldiers returning from war used to roam around in the countryside they depended partly upon the kindness of the populace and partly as we shall see in this tale upon their own sharp wits in europe in the ancient times when the soldiers returned from war they used to live where to the countryside to the rural areas for some time and they depended upon the kindness of the people of uh, that place and partly on their wits and this is the story about this only this is the story of 3 or 4 centuries ago in bohemia a soldier reached a small village it was a drab thread like thread bear kind of a place but he walked into the village square and unloaded his meagre kit a rough leather pack a horse hair blanket and an iron cauldron which he carried on his back like a hump stretching himself loosening his coat and taking his boots off he settled down on the pavement for the night and a soldier reached a small village while returning from the war and that village was in bohemia it was a drab like place means a dull place a my, my, mysterious place but he walked into that village village square and unloaded himself some things which he had a rough leather pack a horse hair blanket and an iron cauldron cauldron is a type of utensil to cook something with handle or lid he wanted to take some rest so he loosening his coat and settled down on the pavement for the night almost at once he felt a certain hostility among the passers by at once he feel what that passers by had hostility hostility means unfriendly attitude for him a grumpy resentment a type of anger a suppose i suppose you think we are going to feed you said one sly old man leaning on his stick as he was the soldier well i'll have you know young man that i am the burgomaster of the village and i will tolerate no good for nothings here 
We have mouths of our own to think of. Do you hear me, young man? Said this horrid person. This is a terrible person, a bad tempered person who is saying this without any reason. He introduced himself that he was Bago Master. Bago Master means the chief magistrate of the village, main person of the village. The soldier heard all too clearly, if only because the Bago Master was now bellowing at the top of his voice and the little crowd that had gathered around him was echoing his words with every sign of approval. And the soldier heard all his words very clearly and Virgo Master's shout loudly worked and a little crowd gathered around the square. And all of them, whoever were in that crowd, they took all his words as a sign of approval. And a woman with a wart in her nose saying that not a bean will I give him. She said that I will give him nothing, not a single pea pod. We are respectable folk here, said another. Soon the whole square was murmuring disagreeably and the soldier might well have been forgiven if he had felt a little despondent. In this environment, everyone will get disheartened, children, and so does the soldier. Soldier got disheartened for some time, but he didn't show any expression in his face. In fact, he was not disheartened at all, for he was extremely cheerful. He shows that he was extremely cheerful. He swept off his red cap, made a mock bow to the assembly, winged at the woman with the wart on her nose and said, All right, friends, all right. Mr. Burgomaster, sir, don't worry. I won't ask a thing of you. I'll just spend the night here, if I may, minding my own business. And in the morning, I'll be on my way. I know how you all feel and I don't blame you for it. We old soldiers, we can be a nuisance sometimes. No, don't you worry. I'll just clean up my cauldron and he rubbed the inside of the pot in a desultory sort of way. With a spotted handkerchief, just prepare the crockery and make myself a nice bowl of stone soup. What he said? He said that no problem. I'll just spend the night here and then I'll go on my way. Don't worry. And he started to clean his cauldron which he had and he said that make myself prepare a nice bowl of stone soup. And so saying he pulled out of his pack two large stones. And after saying that he picked two large stones from his pack. Popping them into the cauldron he filled it up with water from the village pump, lit a fire of sticks and settled down upon the ground to wait for the brew to boil. The villagers looked on a stupefied stone soup. Was the man mad? Just stones in water. What kind of stones? Was he a magician? Who has ever heard of such a dish? Stone soup ran the murmur around the square. And what happened children? He lit a fire of sticks and he filled the cauldron with water and just dropped two stones in that water. And the crowd started murmuring. What kind of stones? Is, it a, is he a magician? Was the man mad? And just so on. You can see one word is also given here below this page. Despondent means depressed, downheartened means disheartened also. 
All right then, said the soldier, stirring the pot with a wooden spoon. Don't upset yourselves. It is just a little prehistorical recipe I picked up in foreign presented to me by a saint. In gratitude for my having saved his life when threatened by wild elephants, these two stones have the power to brew for me the most delicious, the most mouth-watering soup that ever a man tasted. What he said? That don't worry, I will tell you how this stone can cook a mouth-watering soup. This stone has given has been given by a saint to me when I saved his life with white wild elephants. And they have the power to cook for me the most delicious, the most, most mouth-watering soup. Stone soup for, from China. Ah, and taking a little of water in his spoon, he sipped it with relish. Hmm, coming along very nicely, said he, while the peasants watched in baffled silence. Baffled means children confused. This is the very same soup that Alexander drank the night before he stormed the pyramids. Stone soup from China. The soup for heroes. You all look up friendly enough. Just a bit more water, that's it. Stoke up the fire. Give it a stir. There we are. Then enough for us all to have a bowl full. Eh, the citizens were taken aback. Are you trying to tell me, said the Burgomaster severely, that all you need to make your soup is just those two stones and a pot full of water? That's all, sir, replied the soldier. Nothing more nor less. Tell you what, stone soup is even better, even more breathtakingly wonderful with just a pinch of garlic or of a carrot brings out the flavor. You know, cauliflower is the next best thing anybody got a bit of green stuff to throw in now while i make sure the stones are fermenting properly in this space children he said that taking a little of water in his spoon what he act he act as this is very tasty and he said hmm coming along very nicely and he told about that soup to the people that this is the soup Alexander drank and the soup is for heroes. That soup can be named stone soup from China. And you all look friendly so I want to give you all this soup after finishing. Just stir a pinch of salt, a pot full of water and then garlic, carrot, cauliflower is the next best thing and anything you can drop it down, any green stuff. The peasants looked at each other sheepishly and suspiciously. Nobody wanted to move first, nobody wanted to admit his curiosity. Nobody wanted to make a fool of himself, but suddenly a common impulse overcame them all. And what happened? Everyone, everyone was suspicious. No one believed on that at once. But they were curious too, to know the taste of this soup. They wanted to give their contribution in that, but nobody wanted to make a fool of himself. But suddenly a common impulse overcame them all. Impulse means children is given below the page. You can see a sudden strong desire to do something. And suddenly everyone wanted to do something. Overcame, the, overcame them all and well they said just a piece or two could not do any harm. 
they thought that just a piece or a pinch then what the matter a handful of peas a pair of tomatoes stone soup after all was something new in their lives they thought that after all they would test stone soup first time so they can contribute all these things and they might as well make the most of it one by one they slipped away and came back with a contribution what type of contribution contribution of a green stuff contribution of salt garlic etc splash went half a turnip invent a potato invent cabbage and onions and peas and everything i think whatever is needed for soup they contribute these things until the brew was marvelously thick and fragrant and what happened as we thought the brew means the stuff the water became thick and fragrant and you could not see those two stones for the bubble and richness of it splendid said the soldier ho oh, what a dinner we are going to have one and all of us in this benevolent and hospitable village it is not every night of the week that you have stone soup in bohemia ah uh, mr burgomaster sir and thus carrying them along with a joke for an old woman a dig at a potly merchant potly means fat a little flattery for the burgomaster and a flood of anecdotes the soldier had all the citizens sitting around him wondering and expectant until at last the soup was ready everyone was very excited they were thinking when the soup was cooked and when they would get that its nourishing vapors were wafting around the square and its vapors flavors were moving around passing by the air a pile of balls had appeared and they all sat on the paving stones they all sat down and they brought a pile of balls for them the soldier in the middle sipping the stuff with infinite satisfaction exquisite said the burgomaster who prided himself on knowing about the food magnificent said the portly merchant merchant who was very fond of eating really tasty i must say observed the woman with the wart on the nose on the top of the great wall did you say asked one youth with his mouth full alexander the great do you mean queried another stone soup said the last of them all talking at once what a miracle what a marvelous gift from china and the soldier chuckled to himself as he had his soup comfortably and what happened all of them were praising the soup like exquisite magnificent and many more words some were saying that alexander the great drank it wow but the soldier just laughed quietly and drank had his soup comfortably drank his soup comfortably okay children hope you understood this lesson here's the story ends it shows that if we use our wit we can solve any problem now i will tell you the full summary of this lesson stone soup of bohemia is a story about a soldier who uses his wit to get a satisfying meal for him this is the story of 3 4 centuries ago when a soldier while returning from war reached a village in bohemia 
he found that villagers are very unfriendly there. No one would like to see him and no one would give anything to eat. He got disheartened but he did not show his expression. Instead, he sat on the village square, taken his cauldron, cauldron out and put two stones and some water in that to cook the soup. Everyone was surprised to see the soup making with just water and stones. The soldier used his wit and said, that a saint had given these magical stones and this soup had been drank by Alexander the Great also. If you could contribute a few carrots and a pinch of salt, I would give the soup all of you to taste. After that, everyone dropped some ingredients into that soup by the side. And what happened? Aroma of the soup was passing by the air. The soup was cooked and given to everyone. All of them praised the taste of the divine soup. But the soldier smiled quietly on his wit and villagers' foolishness and drank his soup quietly. Hope you understood this lesson and like this video. Subscribe my channel, like it, comment on it and share it with your friends. In my next video, I'll give it exercises and question answer. Thank you.